Lex players and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today I am touring an incredible island inspired by the heavenly beast created by reading underscore farm on Instagram. The creator has so graciously allowed me to tour his island today, so we're gonna check it out. First order of business is of course to look at the map. So here is reading farm. We've got three residents as well as Pietro, Drago, Sid, Phoebe, Tucker, Rolf, Del, Tia, Tiancheng and Shino. Some of these villagers actually do have significance for the island. So Del represents the black tortoise of the north, the first heavenly beast. Then we've got the azure dragon of the east, who is going to be Drago, the cutie. Then we've got the vermilion bird of the south, who is represented by Phoebe and the white tiger of the west, who is going to be Rolf. I love how the villager homes are placed and everything directionally. And we're gonna have a yellow dragon in the center who is not a villager on the island, but is going to be something exciting. I'm sure you will love it. First of all, just first impression of the island, it is packed with detail. We're gonna pick up the gifts and I'll let you know what's in here. All right, we've been given a cozy little outfit, so I'm gonna put it on. Okay, this is what we've got. I truly feel like I am a dream traveler at this point. Like I look like someone who dream hops. Let's look around though. Look at this Louis Vuitton dessert carrier. We love to see it. Like I said, there is so much detail on this island. I can't even fathom how much furniture must have gone into this on top of all the custom design detail. Even the beaches appear to be decorated. We have no choice but to stand. This is a very natural beach, it seems. This island is just wild. Let's go up here because I'm pretty sure this is the volcano. This is one of the primary reasons why I decided to tour this island because I was like, no way, is there a whole volcano? Look at how he's gone about creating this with the new items from 2.0, with the frozen items to make it look illuminated. This is so cool. I think the cave item also definitely helps add to the ambiance here. It is absolutely phenomenal. As we walk around here, I also wanted to note that this creator has spent over 3,000 hours in Animal Crossing. So you already know where all these items came from. This is hard work in play. Also, I wanted to mention before we leave this area that the volcano represents Phoebe's power because obviously as the phoenix, um, she has the like volcano, the element is fire. Let's walk around a little bit over here, see if there's anything to find back here. Like I said, there's just so many items at play here. Oh, it looks like we found a little market. I love how this island is like a blend of the like mythology, the lore, the heavenly beast, and then also kind of like an abandoned city aesthetic, but it's still so busy feeling. Like even though we're barely seeing any villagers walking around, I feel like this is a packed island. I feel like this is a crowded spot. I also didn't even notice this like railroad. It seems like we've got either a broken down train or just an inactive one here. Okay, we are moving into this area that has a cotton field and this is apparently Drago's area as the Azure Dragon and the element here is wood. So we're seeing a lot of wooden items and then the cotton field of course is so well done with this like cotton candy item that was really creative. I just can't get over how much there is to see, how much color, how many items are at play. We've even got a little ball field. Do not say that this island doesn't have plenty of recreation for its residents. I love the way this beach is decorated. Also, we've got a sort of boardwalk going on. Very, very tropical, very beachy. I feel like this island is a mix of so many themes on top of its like core place as the Heavenly Beast Island. Also, I just saw Del walking. Look, we get to witness the black tortoise in action. Hello. Also the campsite. We've got some more beached up lining up this way. Oh my gosh, little flamingos. Maybe there's a cancel, like a no sign here because this is a private movie viewing, but we're gonna walk in anyway because we're super rude. I'm not gonna lie, not only can I get lost on this island, I will be getting lost a few times. So this is where we were before the like alleyway walking through. If we go up here, there's even more to see. Some construction, it looks like. Even some like graffiti vibes here. How cool. Also, I always appreciate seeing items in use that I don't typically see on islands. So like this is, I think it's the amazing machine or something, very scientific. This is 
like scientific, it's like sci-fi borderline dystopian. That's what this island is giving right now. And like, look at this enormous elephant inflatable item. Like, name one other island where you've seen all of these different item themes in use. Oh, this is cute. So here's Drago's house. This is... How did I not notice this? When we were right here, I was right beside Drago's house. So like I said, his element that he represents is wood, which is why we're seeing so much of those items. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm certainly vibing here. Oh, I think this is the golden crater, which houses the dragon. Check him out. This is so cool. A crater in the middle of the island. Are you kidding? Wow. There's Sid in the background. Hey, can you leave, King? Can you let us get a cool view here? This is so cool. I freaking love this, like, crater build. I'm just, like, walking around here in the golden crater, feeling very special. There are so many items. Also, apparently, the dragon is, in fact, pooping in this crater, so that's not fun. As a germaphobe, I'm gonna head out. I guess we'll keep going left because I'm not sure what I've seen and what I haven't seen right now. Look at this pretty build. This is a gas station, definitely giving abandoned vibes here. But this is so cool. Let's go look at this. This looks like a temple of sorts, maybe? Perhaps? These builds are so cool. I mean, look at how this just fits into this back spot on this island. It's like tucked away. It looks so cool. And yet it's not even like spotlighted as, you know, an important build of any sort. It's just kind of thrown in. And that's how this whole island has been so far. Everything looks spectacular. It's like you don't know where to look because everything is amazing. Oh, I love this. This is the player's house. So I will go in here. Apparently all the resident homes are also decorated. I will let you all explore those for yourself if you can dream but we will look at the player's home. Here is the primary living space. There is so much layering going on and the little laundry space. This is my favorite. It is fully accessible. I don't know if this is magic dust that we're standing in front of or if this bag on the floor just really stinks, but we do have polishing effects going on here. Also the tribute to Franklin in the kitchen. Are you kidding? That's adorable. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a ceremonial dinner, a little banquet spot. I love this wall choice. It's like so bright and happy and the lighting too. This creator definitely knows how to set a mood. Oh, this is cool too. Whereas the last room had like a pink tent to it. This one has blue. It's like an outdoor little garden spot. I don't think I've ever seen a gazebo used indoors. So uh, this is innovative. Oh, this is cute. I'm not sure. Is the whole thing a bathroom? Oh no, it's a bedroom. Could also be a little studio apartment minus a kitchen, I guess. This room is like simpler, I guess. It's more what you'd expect to see like a standard bedroom situation, but I love the layering of the furniture. Oh, look at this room. First of all, it's Christmas on this side. Not sure what's going on over here. It's like this side of the room is very classical and quaint. And then you walk over to the right side of the room and it's like, boom, you're in the holiday season. There's even a Santa Claus hat on the wall. This is very whimsical. That's the word I've been looking for this whole time. Even my outfit is very whimsical. Also, I've been, the last time I toured a home that had polishing effects like this around the tree, um, I had a lot of questions about it. So the way that you polish is it's something you learn to do in Happy Home Paradise. And basically you can just polish items with any sort of effect. You can even do custom design. So I know someone made like bats for their spooky island and you can only polish things that are indoors. But yeah, that's how you get this effect is through Happy Home Paradise. And here is the basement of the house. This has like Greek or Roman bathhouse vibes. Very luxurious. I don't know why I was expecting there to be like a dungeon in the basement or something when everything else has been very bright and whimsical, but I definitely was. I was like, okay, so now we go down to the dungeon in the basement, but no, this basement is very happy and grand and luxurious. I don't know if you all have heard it, but there's this TikTok audio that's like, don't follow me if you're trying to save money or whatever, because I am like, this is a maximalist account. And I feel like that's what's going on on this island. This is a maximalist island. Here is Dell's house, by the way, since the element here is water, the house is situated close to the secret beach for the black tortoise, heavenly beast. I think that's very cute. We've got like a whole beachy build set up back here. So that the edge of the island looks like one big beach. I don't think I've ever seen it done like this. This is really cool though. It's like you have another shore. 
power on this side, even equipped with beach chairs and boats. Here's a little fishing area. Also, there must be rotten turnips because I see ants. I freaking love when I see those in the game. I don't know what's going on on this island, but I feel like this island is in the year 3000. It is so far advanced ahead of where we are in real life right now. Look at this little farm. It's like a little micro farm. Why is this adorable? This is low-key one of my favorite things we've seen on the island so far. I love this. It's so organized and the items here are so cute and unique. I've also made it all the way back to this beach, so that's cool. We've got some pagodas over here. Did I call it pagoda in the house instead of gazebo? I do that all the time. I can't remember if I said gazebo or pagoda now. I don't know why those two words have me goofing, but they do. Well, there's also this restful little couch here by the lighthouse. The mermaid couch is so underrated. Let's talk to this resident. What's going on? Rich VDB. Tough. Okay. I want to go up there so bad, but I don't think I can from this area. So now I've got to figure out how to get up on that cliff. Oh, look, I found Rolf. This is, uh, gosh, which one is he? Rolf is the white tiger of the West, which is very fitting since he is in fact a white tiger. I've somehow found my way back over here. Not sure how we got here. We're just kind of living at this point. I'm really determined to find a way to get onto that cliff that I mentioned a few minutes ago, but I'm not seeing a way. I'm not seeing, oh, I found freaking Phoebe's house. She's in, oh my gosh. Her house is on the volcano. That is so cool. I'm so glad I found that. So that's where Phoebe lives and we're gonna try to find a way onto this cliff, dang it. Look at this view that I found near the back of the island. How cool is this? Big like festival vibes on the beach. Also, I found the museum. <gasps> Wait, I made it onto this cliff somehow. How did I get here? Yeah, this is the cliff I was trying to get onto anyway. <laughs> this island works in mysterious ways. I love this castle tower. It's just placed by itself on an island like that. That is so clever. That looks so cool. So we've got like a little desert build. Build? Why do I say that all the time? We've got a little desert build up here with another resident representative. Um a tent up here that hasn't been upgraded to a house. I love these yellow tents. And then you can climb down the vines to get to the museum. I've never seen a museum like this either. Wow, this is wild. Wing just keep trucking along here. This is such a cool city aesthetic to achieve in Animal Crossing. This island doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. And that's saying a lot as someone who like regularly tours islands. Also, I don't know how I missed it, but that's the house we toured on the left. And there's literally another resident representative home right here. I'm not gonna tour all of them because there are so many. So in the interest of time, I will not be doing that. But that is, there are literally two mailboxes here too. And no part of me was like, hey, that means there are two houses. Oh, look at this little like back alley area to overlook the beach. How cool. I definitely feel like we're in a new area now because I don't remember any of this. Oh, I remember being on the other side of this and I just didn't see this little like sunken swamp area, this graveyard here. This is the gift that keeps on giving. Where are we? Don't know. What are we doing? Having a great time. You can even come up here, climb up on this little cliff. Lots to see. This feels like a junkyard almost, I think. I feel like I'm witnessing the artwork of one of those like famous artists who just come up with a brand new thing that no one has ever conceived of before. That's what I feel like walking through this island. I feel like I'm experiencing a master at work. I really wanna get down there, but I haven't figured out how yet. Okay, let me explore. Good news, I found Nook's Cranny on the island. Brilliant setup, very, um, why was I gonna say very decorated? Anyway, here is resident services. I don't know how I didn't notice the Nook's Cranny was literally right behind resident services. I mean, that's where I woke up because I'm dreaming of this island. But yeah, so that's where we are right now, right behind resident services. So if you decide to visit, which you should, of course, that is where you'll wake up. Also, I'll be putting custom designs that were provided in the description for you all. So check on that if you would like. We've made it to the West Beach. 
We've got another cool little boardwalk set up, camping on the beach, which is cute. And here is Rolf, the white tiger of the West. His, what is his element? His element is metal, which is why there is an abandoned bridge on the West area. I wonder if that's what we've already been on or if that's something I've yet to discover. Look at all of this layering that went into creating this area. I am at a loss for words. You can go back here. Here's another of the people who live here. Dracarys, that is what, um, God, that is what Daenerys Targaryen says in Game of Thrones to get people, to get her dragons to light people on fire. So that's cool. Look at this little bear design on the truck. I'm crying. Again, look at all of the items, all of the detail here. It is uh, mind boggling. This is the little graveyard area slash shrine, I suppose. And here is another little beachy rest area. How cool is everything here? Wow. I love this beach rock design. This is so well done. I love the planks on the rock. They just look so fitting. Like the wood almost appears rotted from years of being close to the sea. Oh, I think this might be the bridge perhaps. I don't know, but we can definitely go up here and sit on it. No thoughts, just vibes. Okay, I don't think that I could confidently say that we've seen everything, even if I spent like seven years traveling on this island, but I am going to say that the tour is pretty much complete. Let's talk to you at Stacy. Need more bells. Cute. Oh, we definitely haven't seen this. This is like a fish restaurant. A little seafood restaurant here. That's so cute. I feel like I couldn't eat fish if I was looking at them, though. I'd feel bad. Like, no. I'm not eating you, I promise. I'm not eating your brethren. This is so adorable. And I also want to look up here because what is this? Wow. Imagine if I had just missed this whole spot. That looks so cool. And look at this. I love. That is adorable. This little like walkway that's created with the bricks. Okay. All right. Straight up this pathway is back to resident services and I'm now like 81% confident that we've seen most of the island at least. All right, thank you again so much to the island creator for having us today. Remember to show him some love in the description. I have linked the creator's Instagram and dropped the codes that were given to me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. But for now, bye!